take a deep breath. Ha! <sighs> oh, hello friends. You are already here. Thanks for visiting and waiting until I finished my meditation. I often meditate to feel better, think clearly and most importantly to keep my emotions in check, especially anger. Yes, my friends, anger is a complex emotion we all struggle to deal with. But have you ever wondered why do we get angry? If not, then don't you worry my friends because in today's episode let us explore this turbulent emotion we call anger and answer the question why do we get angry zoom in so friends have you ever got so angry that you felt like screaming or throwing something away just because things didn't go your way maybe your sibling ate your cake or your friend lost the book he took from you or the last season of your favorite series failed to live up to your expectation well the fact is we all get angry it is just one of the many emotions we feel daily like happiness sadness fear etc although you are totally aware of how anger looks like from outside let me show you what's happening inside your body while you're fuming over a certain issue. Imagine you are happily walking on the street, dressed neatly to go to your friend's birthday party. When suddenly a car swiftly cuts you off and splashes slimy mud on your favorite dress, which ultimately turns you from a peace-loving creature into an incredible hulk. As you get angry and go into the smash mode, changes begin to happen in your body, starting with your amygdala, a part of your brain that deals with emotions. Yes, the amygdala gets activated and releases a chemical known as catecholamine that causes you to react with a burst of energy and prepares you for some physical activity. Also, hormones known as epinephrine aka adrenaline and norepinephrine are released into the body that raises your heart rate and blood pressure turning you red and making you ready for some action but fortunately another part of your brain called prefrontal cortex responsible for making judgment also gets activated thus making sure you don't react illogically to the situation and stopping you from taking aggressive steps towards others. Also, it's vital to know that constant chronic anger can significantly increase your chances of getting heart diseases like high blood pressure, heart attack or even a stroke. Although it's completely okay to be mad at times, it's essential that anger must be released in the right way. So, make sure that you don't always react in the heat of the moment by trying to keep your emotions in check and adopt a healthy lifestyle like doing meditation or exercising. And it's a good idea to talk about your anger with an adult such as a parent or teacher. Once you talk about anger, you will realize that those bad feelings usually start to go away. Trivia time! Did you know anger can cause memory lapse? Yes, chemicals associated with anger can destroy neurons in the hippocampus and prevent the growth of new neurons resulting in weakening of the memory faculties of the brain. Also, the impact of anger on the heart may be more severe for women than for men. A study showed that completing a stressful task such as explaining something that made an individual angry caused a greater reduction in blood flow to the hearts of female participants. It's question time! Which part of the human brain deals with emotions? To 
write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids Cutesy Bootsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.